Now to the exclusive video from inside a Detroit police precinct showing the efforts to save the life of a baby who wasn't breathing. The parents rushed the little girl from their home at the villages at Parkside Apartments down Connor to the 5th precinct, which is about a mile away. That's where we find local four's Evrod Kasumi with more on how this precious life was saved. Evrod. Yeah, Kimberly and Jason, the parents ran into this precinct frantically looking for help once they realized that something was really wrong with their little girl. And you know that in an emergency situation like this, every second can be the difference between life and death. We have an unresponsive child. It's every parent's worst nightmare, but it was a real life emergency for parents Erica Wilson and Thomas Williams. I observed a gentleman carrying an unresponsive baby uh, in a hurry fashion to the front of the building. Thomas wearing just shoes and jean shorts, Erica in just shoes, jeans, and only a bra, carried in their lifeless daughter to the Detroit Police Department's 5th Precinct, right in Officer Kevin Tresvan's arms. His training immediately kicked in. We can't lose this baby, not on our watch. That's when the paternal instincts kicked in, but then also my training. Body camera video shows Officer Tresvan attending to the unresponsive little girl named Seven wearing only a diaper. He checks her airway and performs chest compressions while other officers page for help. Mom and dad pace, even screaming at times as they watch in horror in the precinct lobby. The parents, uh, the baby was having a medical emergency. Little Seven had a 103 degree fever. Still unresponsive, the officers decided there was no time to waste and jumped in the back of a department vehicle to take the baby to St. John's Hospital themselves. I said a quick prayer for the baby and, and it obviously worked. In fact, in route to the hospital, a miracle. Cradled in Officer Danny Ruiz Cruz's arms, little seven started breathing again ever so slightly. She was just having a hard time breathing. I could see her eyes opening and looking at me. Uh, she was, you know, whining a bit, so I knew that she was just in pain. The entire department joined together to make sure seven got to the hospital safely. Officer Eric McCombs was behind the wheel. All our fellow officers, um, it was a team effort. They blocked traffic to ensure that the child could uh, make it to the hospital for medical attention. And their efforts worked. Baby 7 is doing fine today, thanks to quick thinking and life-saving actions by these three officers. It's a good feeling. Uh, we saved the baby. Baby's healthy. That's all. It's an important thing. And these officers certainly are heroes. Now, I did get a chance to speak with both of the parents earlier today. They didn't elaborate on exactly what was wrong with their daughter, but they did insist that she is doing just fine today. As for the officers, they told me that saving lives all in a day's work. In Detroit, Everard Casame, Local 4. It's a really remarkable job by the officers at that 5th precinct. And so glad to hear that little girl is going to be okay. Everyone, thanks. Absolutely.